The Millennium Project has been studying global futures issues for over 25 years. Right now, we believe that one of the most critical issues is not being attended to at all in any serious way, is understanding the transition from artificial narrow intelligence that we have today to artificial general intelligence that we don't have yet. If we get the initial conditions wrong for that move to general intelligence, then superintelligence could move beyond our control. And that's what Elon Musk and Hawkins and Gates and all these people are warning about. The only way we can make sure we do this right is getting the initial conditions for general intelligence. Narrow intelligence is what we have today. Single purpose, the thing that drives a car does not di di diagnose cancer. General intelligence is like us in the sense that it can draw on everything and address novel problems. That's not so much the issue. The important part here is that we have a race between the United States and China and Japan and the European Union and people are going to cut corners. And if they cut corners and race into this too quickly, those initial conditions could be wrong and evolve into general intelligence and into super intelligence, not to our liking. So we want to do this study. Now, who would take a look at it and what would be the impact? First of all, we're doing the studies for the Secretary General of the United Nations on foresight changes in the UN structures. So we have already in the conversation about putting long-term strategic threats to humanity in the report. So this would be in there. So this would be one of the outputs of it. Also, I sit on the IEEE Committee on Artificial Narrow Intelligence Standards for Governance. So I have experience in how to make this transition. So I know they will also be interested in using this for another set of standards. Same with the International Standards Organization. Governments are not taking into account general intelligence. They're talking about narrow intelligence in their AI strategies, but not general. That is one of the places we would get it used as well. Universities that teach this stuff can use it. Think tanks that work on these policies. I think that anybody seriously involved in the future in artificial intelligence will be interested in this. Now, what's going to be the impact? We think that we can deepen and broaden the conversation. Right now, it's very superficial. We think we can make it important enough to the world that others will take it on, such as the International Telecommunications Union, IEEE, as I mentioned, nation states, the UN, and so forth. But we want to improve the conversation and make it set it off on its right way. So like the initial conditions about the initial conditions is also important. And that's why we want your support.